Good morning, good people. I'm Father John Tepfer speaking to you from Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church in Colorado Springs, Colorado. 800 years ago, St. Francis finished writing his earlier rule. It was a rule of life for his brothers to follow as they struggled to live the life of, according to the gospel. That was what Pope Innocent III had given them permission to live. And so Francis and his brothers endeavored to live this life according to the gospel. It wasn't easy to do, but Francis wanted them more than to obey the rules of the letter. He wanted them to have within their heart the Holy Spirit and to follow the Spirit of the Lord in his holy manner of working in all things. And so more than a rule of life, it was a way of life for the brothers to follow. The other day when I was meditating on the rule, it struck me that in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 5, we find a moment in the life of Jesus that teaches us what it means to live according to the Spirit. Jesus was at the seashore of Galilee, and suddenly there were so many people there gathered to hear his preaching, there was no room for him on the shore, and he saw the boat of Simon Peter a little ways away, and he asked Simon Peter if he could get into his boat and preach to the crowd. And so he got into the boat of Simon Peter. Simon and his friends were cleaning their, la their nets. They had been at it all night fishing and caught nothing but, but, but all kinds of things they had to clean out of their nets. But they listened to Jesus as he preached for a long while. And suddenly when Jesus was done preaching to the crowds, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, I want you to go out into the middle of the lake and drop your nets once again for a catch. And Simon looked at him and said, Lord, we've been at it all night long and we've caught nothing, but if you say so, we will. Jesus had touched the heart of Peter with his preaching. Peter recognized that Jesus was someone very special and that his words had authority. And if Jesus said to lower their nets, they would do it another time. So they did. They went out far into the water. They dropped their nets and suddenly they caught so many fish they could hardly take them in. They called out to James and John, who were also on the shore with their boat. James and John came with their father Zebedee, and they began to take in so many fish that both boats were filled to almost overflowing, and they almost sunk. And then Peter turned and looked at Jesus and said, Lord, leave me. I'm a sinful man. I have this image of Peter on his knees, grabbing the, the knees of Jesus. He doesn't really want him to leave him. And Jesus looks at Peter with love, and he says, Simon Peter, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be fishing for people. Jesus met Simon Peter in the midst of his everyday life. In the midst of his everyday life, Simon Peter was attentive to the word that Jesus was speaking, and it filled his heart with all kinds of new possibilities. And to me, that's what St. Francis meant when he said that his brothers and later his sisters should live according to the Spirit of the Lord and have his holy manner of working in their hearts. Jesus comes to meet us in our everyday life, and with Christ in our boat, we can do great things. We Capuchin Friars are praying for you. God bless you.